Thank you, Brad. We begin this morning with a local breaking news alert on I-75 near downtown. That is where the interstate is shut down. It's been shut down for hours overnight. Christian Hauser joining us now. Christian, what is the situation there right now? Well, David, I got great news. Actually, about 10 to 15 minutes ago, crews came by, picked up all the orange cones. And if we take a look behind me, you can see nothing. This interstate or entrance ramp was blocked off along with everything south of here. We're at Ezra Charles Drive. Everything south of here to the Brent Spence Bridge was blocked off. The interstate completely shut down in a northbound direction. Here's what we know so far. Crews shut down the interstate around 1230. This is near Freeman Avenue. For a brief period of time, the northbound lanes of the Brent Spence Bridge were also closed to keep folks from coming across. Now, one of our producers actually got caught in that traffic, and he says it was chaotic, and some people even went the wrong way back down entrance ramps to avoid the backup. Now, our crews were here. They did see a crime scene unit. We haven't learned much from Cincinnati police, but I was able to talk to a couple officers kind of just driving around the area when they thought that this would be clear, uh, cleared up for everyone, as well as if this was a serious crash or some other type of incident. They didn't say it was another type of incident, just a crash, but they didn't say how serious it was or, you know, if any anyone was seriously hurt and that. So we're still working to learn a little bit more about that. The good news is I-75 northbound is completely wide open this morning. Uh, I'm seeing traffic coming along right now. Um, but as soon as we get more information on the crash itself, we'll get that to you. Live in the West End, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. All right, thank you for staying on that, Christian, and stay warm out there. It is cold. We'll check back with Christian in about a half hour. Now, we just checked, and we can see that the traffic is moving on the camera at the Western Hills Viaduct, so the Bank Street entrance ramp and the one from the viaduct, again, they are open, so no need to look for a detour at this time. Also,